good morning welcome to the channel today we're straight into it and today we're in more nature reserve There's nothing major to take an image of around here. There's a couple of lakes, there's some wildlife, um, but I just want to sort of see what I can get from this location and uh, yeah, see if it's gonna be one I'm gonna come back to. So it looks as if we could have quite a nice sunrise. There's a little bit of cloud in the sky. Um, it's quite clear as well. And we've got a lovely uh, ground frost as well. So uh, yeah, for uh, coming towards mid April, it's extremely cold, but uh, yeah, absolutely loving it. So it's been a bit of a rush this morning to get here, um, but it's, I think it's gonna be well worth it. Just looking over to the right, which is where the water is, it looks to be quite a nice, uh, nice mist settling on the water. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look, see what we can get, and uh, yeah, try and work this location. So I've managed to relax a little bit now, I've got here, I've taken a few shots just over the water behind us now. Uh, as you can tell by that time lapse, the, uh, the mist is sort of moving in quite, uh, quite nicely and it's uh, giving quite a nice effect. So I've spent about 10 minutes here now and I feel a bit more relaxed. There's one, nothing worse than actually coming to a location and feeling completely rushed like I have done today. I was a little bit shocked when I looked out the office window at 6 o'clock as I'm leaving and the sun was actually in the sky or the, the light was really quite illuminated already. So. Um, so yeah, I'm here. Time to relax. Let's enjoy the let's enjoy the vlog, and let's get some uh, let's get some images. Because I've not really photographed this location before, I wasn't really sure what gear to uh, to bring out with me. So I brought a full arsenal. I've got the D810 in the bag currently with the uh, 14 to 24 lens on, the um, 24 to 70 lenses in the bag as well. And behind me, I've got the um, D7200 with the uh, 70 to 200 millimeter on. So yeah, all the gears with me, which is great, but looking it around is something else. So I'm going to move from this location now. I'm going to walk around the other side of the lake. Now the sun is rising to your uh, to your right, my left. Um, so I'm going to walk around there and try and get the sun um, sort of shine onto the island. Now I'm not sure whether that's going to work because there's a huge bank of cloud just in the distance. You can probably tell by those images. Um, so I'm not sure whether it's actually going to work. But there's a, a little bit of colour in the sky as well, but not where I'm actually shooting across. So I'm going to tr go over there, see what else there is, and uh, and yeah, sort of fire back to this location. So uh, yeah, I'll join you in a little bit. 
So I'm recording this on uh, Saturday morning, the 10th of April. On Monday, the restrictions of the uh, lockdown start to get eased a little bit more. So we've got a little bit more flexibility where we're allowed to go. So I'm going to use that a little bit more next week. So hopefully the next vlog will be from a, a bit more of an exotic location. Exotic, well, further afield than Warrington. So uh, this should be the last uh, vlog from the Warrington area for uh, probably a couple of weeks. such a lovely crisp morning today and there's a blanket of frost on the ground and it really makes it feel quite special here. So on the way to the other side of the lake, I've found this other hide. So I'm just taking a couple of images now, just from the side. It's quite good actually, because it looks as if you can get all the way around. And with this island being in the middle of the lake, it's, it's great to sort of have a look at different uh, viewpoints of it. So I'm just bracketing a few shots now because it's quite light. We've got uh, quite a lot of the sky behind. And I want to try and incorporate some of the uh, detail into the uh, sky in the distance. So, uh, so yeah, so far, looking good. Just walk past the sign on the way to this uh, final bird hide, and uh, it says Bluebell Wood. So looking around, there's plenty of bluebells. None of them bloomed yet. It's just all green. So uh, yeah, waiting patiently for these uh, bluebells to uh, to make an appearance. Uh, but yeah, I will make a video with bluebells in it one day. So I've just got to the uh, the other side of the lake now, and it, it's very, very similar. Um, I think the silver birch are a little bit more prominent here. Um, so I'm gonna take a couple of images now and just sort of see what I can work with. Um, but yeah, it's very similar, sort of, very similar to the first shots I took, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I'll spend a little bit of time here, seeing what I can work on, and hopefully the sun will be able to break through and just sort of shine on the island. That's my wish. Uh, fingers crossed on that one. The problem with shooting these mornings and, and trying to get a spectacular morning, you never know what you're going to get until you actually get here. Um, I would love a little bit more cloud in the, uh, in the in the distance just to ignite and light up, but uh, no, unfortunately it's not to be. So I'm going to focus a little bit closer on the island in the middle and just try and get some of the detail out in these shots as much as I can whilst the mist is all sort of going around as well. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can get. So 
So it would appear that that gamble's paid off. I've got beautiful light hitting the uh, silver birch just on the island. I've taken a few images now just across. I've done a, a variation of uh, sort of panos, close-ups, wide angles, that sort of thing. So I'll show a few of those images now. Let me know what you think. So I'm currently bracketing my shots at the moment, just making sure that I've got everything on the right exposure. Um, because the light's hitting the silver birch and that's, that's quite bright, we've got the darkness of the water and the brightness of the sky. I just want to make sure that I'm covering all bases. So bracketing is the way to go on this one. So I think it's time to finish the vlog here. I'm going to start making my way back to the car now. I'm going to take a few shots handheld on the way back, just sort of see what I can get. If they've turned out any good, I'll, uh, I'll post them at the end. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you join the channel. And uh, let me know who you are, where you're from in the comments, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So from more Nature Reserve in Warrington, on this beautiful fresh morning, it's time to say goodbye. All the best, take care, see you very, very soon.